Flushing Meadow, New York. Shea Stadium. And right across from it was the 1964-1965 World's Fair. I was there through the generosity and graciousness of the Wolf family. And I had the most wonderful time with them. This is Margie Wolf. The World's Fair was quite an experience for a young fellow, 15 years old. The Unisphere, the symbol of the fair, was built by United States Steel and is still there. This was the New York State exhibit, I believe. Now, I wish I could remember if I signed my name there. I guess I'll have to come back in 5,000 years and find out. John Glenn rode this uh, Friendship 7 uh, capsule in orbit around the Earth three times. This is the uh, To the Moon and Beyond exhibit and in the middle of the room was a, a projector that had a huge fisheye lens. They ran 70 millimeter film and it filled that entire dome. most amazing things that I saw there was the bladeless helicopter. I overexposed that a little bit and the blades disappeared. This is the Ford exhibit. You would get into, into a car and travel back in time. And as you can see, it was a huge exhibit. It was one of those built by Walt Disney. When you emerged into that cavernous space inside the building, you were surrounded by dinosaurs, full size moving around. This is John Wolfe, who became a highly regarded, highly respected member of the NYPD. Just retired a few years ago. The trip to New York was only a, a week or so, and it ended all too soon.
but I loved visiting New York. I had been born there 15 years earlier. The people are terrific. But 1965 was a great year to visit. Thank you.